Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a voice pack for web phishing alternate voices. So I'm going to assume that you have a couple of things already. You need Audacity or an equivalent audio editor with OGG's exports. You need Godot. 3.5.2 is generally what I use. You need to have alternate voices 1.0.2 and GD Weave installed in your web phishing game. You need Manifestation, which is which I'll link in the description. It's an app that lets you export your mod more easily. And this last one is optional, but I'm also going to assume that you have the raw audio files for the base game voice, just because it makes it easier to know what to record. But you don't technically you don't need that last one. I also assume that you have basic web phishing modding knowledge, so check the links in the description if you need help. Okay, so first we're gonna make the project. So you open up Godot and you choose new project. Just name it whatever kind of voice you want to make. This will be the name of your mod, hopefully. And choose create folder and yeah. So you're gonna be booted up into an empty project. So next what you need to do, make a folder in the project called sounds. I'm gonna go with Dama because I'm making a voice based on my character, Dama. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the project set up. On to recording. You can also just edit audio files ripped from somewhere else if you don't want to record your own voice. But I'll show you how to edit audio files after I've recorded something. So technically for a voice, you can have literally just one audio file, I think. But to make the bare minimum voice, I recommend having the vowels A, E, I, O, and U. So first I'm going to listen to the A sound from my own mod as a reference for how to pronounce it. Oh! Okay. So I'm gonna record the A sound first. Also this is why it can be good to have the base game voice audio files ripped because then you can listen to them as a reference for how to pronounce each letter. Just press record and wait a few seconds so that you can get uh, some good noise. That was a little long, to be honest, but it'll work for our tutorial. Generally, you want to try for closer to the length of the original audio file, but technically any length will work, I think. I just kind of panicked and just did it longer than I needed to. So next, you're going to select the noise, then you're going to choose noise reduction, get noise profile, select all of it, Go to noise reduction again and choose OK. Then you're going to trim down so that there's absolutely nothing in the audio file except for your noise. But keep the beginning and end. Don't like cut in into the sound. Then you just need to export as an OGG into the folder you made earlier in your project. Sounds, voice, name of your voice, and then name it the name of the letter. And there we go, we have our first sound. Again, you should probably at least record the vowels. But you can technically do, I think, the whole alphabet. Or at the very least, all of the letters that have sounds in the base game. So I'm going to go and record the rest of the sounds. Open the folder that you exported your sounds into. So then you're going to have to select all of your audio files and turn off loop. Okay? and choose re-import. Then you should be able to export, but we're going to use manifestation for that. So to use manifestation, what you have to do is choose export, add a preset, and name it manifestation. Don't change anything about it, just add a Linux export and choose manifestation. I don't really feel like getting into manifestation in this tutorial, but I'll link in the description the documents for it so that you can know how to use it yourself. Okay, so now we're in game and we're gonna try testing our mod. So you can either go to your configs in your mods folder, or you can go in tackle box and choose mods. You're gonna wanna find the configuration for alternate voices. Choose configure. And you're gonna ch 
change the voice option to the name of your voice you made. I already changed it, but off screen. And then you're gonna choose apply and quit and restart the game. Then, just go into a game. And let's test it out. Okay, so just type it in whatever you want to say. It kind of sounds weird because I accidentally made the A sound kind of long, but it does work. So you made your first voice mod. Have fun!